Hello everyone, welcome to challenge number four in the 5x5 five five infographic challenge. In today's challenge, we are going to talk about how to build effective reports. So let's imagine ourselves in the marketing department for the Hawaiian Tourism Board. We've just completed a customer satisfaction survey among hundreds and hundreds of visitors, and we now have 10 pages of results. What do we do now? The typical report or a survey report or any report is essentially a collage of charts and numbers. You are just regurgitating all the numbers in a, in a chart and just displaying it you know, to, your, to your audience. So uh, this is a typical example. You have one chart per question or one chart uh, per data point and you just have this collage of, uh, of charts. Um, what we're going to learn today is how to use narrative or stories in your reports to make it far more exciting. So in a narrative arc or in a story arc, there's usually some sort of right tension and some sort of rising action and the climax uh, and essentially some resolution. How do you create a narrative arc? So this, there's only three steps to it. The first is to pick a topic or a question you want to focus on. So there may be many, many different data points and many different questions in your survey or, or whatever you're looking at. Uh, you need to pick some important things where you can draw a story, right? Then you create that narrative arc and that story based on what you've picked, based on the core focus, and you use your data to essentially tell that story. I'm going to give you an example. So instead of looking at the entire survey and then making a collage of charts based on every single question, we're just going to look at one aspect or one topic and focus on it, which is peak season versus, um, versus off non-off-peak season, right? What we've noticed is during peak season, there's a lot of visitors, but satisfaction is lower due to overcrowding, overbooking, right? Um, and a lot of, and that actually causes uh, them to be less likely to become repeat visitors. On the other hand, off-season visitors have a much better experience, satisfaction is much higher, and they become, they're more likely to become repeat visitors. So the resolution then becomes, we want to encourage more off-season visitors. Now let's see how this translates into a report. So let's jump into the layout section of the templates page, and we're gonna choose this simple beginner layout that has basically just two rows. Okay, so we're gonna just change the title real quick. And the first part of the chart, as if you remember, is we're gonna show that uh, in the peak season, customer satisfaction is actually really low, and in the non-peak season, customer satisfaction is higher. So we're going to do basically a customer satisfaction uh, by month. And we're going to just double-click this chart, and I'm going to use... So the data is fake, and I don't really have the data, so we're going to pretend that we put some data, the real data, in here. Uh, obviously, the real data has to support my story narrative, uh, right? I'm going to change it to a column chart. Uh, and we're just going to pretend these months are the months that we did the uh, survey for, all right? Um, so I'm going to delete some of these texts because we don't need it. And I'm going to just make this, this really big. And what I'm going to say is we're going to just say here that uh, in a peak season, uh, the, it has the lowest satisfaction. satisfaction. Uh, and I'm actually going to use... Um, essentially an annotation here. I'm going to use a circle to basically tell people, just in case they don't know, that this is essentially, and I'm going to use the same color uh, so that to tell people that this is the peak season. Uh, and I'm going to do the same for all the low season, all the off-peak season. So the off uh, season has the highest uh, satisfaction. And maybe I'll just make this um, blue. So we can change the colors of the, of the, of the bars as well, but uh, essentially, um, you know, you can do that yourself, right? Um, in the second part, so this is the first part of the narrative, right? So this this causes the uh, the tension uh, and and the rising action part of the of the narrative. Now uh, we're still in the build up. In the second part, I want to show uh, the likelihood of visitors, the likelihood of a repeat visitor based on their season. So I'm going to use two pie charts. Uh, I'm going to take the same pie chart, or you could drag another pie chart. Uh, from there, so I'll show you by dragging uh, another pie chart from here or, or clicking on it, you can do the same thing. Uh, and so I'm going to double click it again. Uh, it's just this is just a yes, no, this is just a yes, no uh, 
uh, answer, will, you know, will, do you plan on coming back, right? So, and this one, I'm just going to say it's 55%. Uh, I'm making these numbers up, obviously, and this is 45%. And we can just delete this. Um, we can just delete this uh, row right here. Uh, yes and no. And save. And I'm going to just put a title in there just so that people know um, what is going on. So I'm going to say... Uh, Uh, so this was the question. I have a yes and no here, uh, and then I need to label it. So I'm going to make a copy of that. So this was the peak season. It's going to be that long right here. And I'm going to make a copy of this uh, for the non-peak season. So. Uh, so in the in the low in the low peak season, the numbers are a lot higher because satisfaction is a lot higher. So we're going to say it's seventy five and and twenty percent. So so this was off peak season. So I've added an opportunity section. I've also added a next step. Right? So let's see how this whole report comes together. So instead of focusing on every single question uh, in, the, in the survey, I've only picked one small aspect to tell my story. So, and that is, in the peak season, we have the lowest satisfaction, customer satisfaction. But during the off season, we have the highest customer satisfaction. And if you go to the next section, you'll see that during the peak season, because of low customer satisfaction, they are less likely uh, visitors are less likely to return, while on the off-season, because of the higher satisfaction, they're more likely to return. So more people are saying, yes, they will return, right? So the opportunity here is that we should be encouraging more off-season visitors um, for a win-win for both businesses and the visitors. And the next step I want to recommend is to get some incentives to encourage off-season visitors to the island, right? So as you can see, in this, in today's challenge, we've used a story or a narrative arc uh, to, and data to, to tell that story as opposed to just having a collage of charts and a collage of numbers, right? Hopefully that was helpful. I will see you guys in the next challenge. Thank you.